Sometimes you just need a van life reset. There's a day that is well known in the van life community where you do all the not so exciting adulting things that keep van life going, otherwise known as an admin day. Today is that day for us. But if you're just jumping into the series, we are on day four of a big road trip to Mungo National Park just over the border into the New South Wales Outback region. We've survived so far. Oh! It put up a fight. It was too shallow. <laughs> that was a rough start. Ew. Jeez, what are we doing? Up until this point, we have only driven an hour or two a day. But today we have a big four hour drive ahead of us to get us as close to the desert as possible. And to break this big drive up, we are sprinkling in some life admin along the way. So let's go. You know what time it is. This is the worst part of the day, the moments before. Today's not so bad though. No. It's really sunny and nice and like, we're literally on a beach. <laughs> if you're gonna do cold plunges, today is the day to do them. This is it, oh that's cold. Yeah! <laughs> Bring on the admin, baby! Well, first things first, we're on the road and we need to start charging everything. Our camera batteries, our backup portable batteries, our drone. So we are starting to plug everything in on the drive so that we can make the most of our time here. And of course, we've got to top up the diesel. This is the most expensive part of any road trip, driving on the road. <laughs> How much is it going to cost us today? $55 e-dues. All right, let's top up this fridge. You never know where anything is when you go to a new Woolies. All right, well, let's get out of here. The sink is still filled with dirty dishes from breakfast. We gotta stock this fridge though. We'll deal with that at the caravan park. Usually we do the dishes as we go, to be honest. Yeah, this is the first time we've actually left dishes in our sink. Like it's only because we're going to a caravan park tonight. All right, none of that stuff needs to go in the fridge, so we're good to go. These weren't on the list, but a girl's got to treat herself, okay? Now I'm ready for the road trip. <laughs> now it's time to stock up on the important things. It's a big compliment when you live in a country where the drinking age is 18 and you're still getting ID'd at almost 36 years old. The checkout lady didn't believe us. I showed her my ID and I'm just like, do, do you think I'm... 33, dating a 17 year old, is that what you think is going on here? You never know these days. <laughs> Mama still got it. $20 cheaper than Dan Murphy's. Hello, sweetie. One of the things that we did for this big driving day was break it up. So we've stopped pretty much every hour mm -hmm. along the way. We are at this national park or forest 
reserve or whatever it is just to get out and stretch our legs it is like a two and a half hour loop or whatever but we're just getting out getting some fresh air before we get back on the road one thing that makes this one instantly more nice than last episode's forest walk was that this is actually designed to be a walk not a hunting trail so you can already feel that it's much more open it goes through the center it's less you know game tracks yeah yeah you don't feel like there's gonna be a animal getting hunted behind you a kangaroo with a joey in its pouch where oh i see it wow the camera's definitely not the camera's this. definitely not gonna pick that up it's way out there yeah Maybe you see the joey as well yeah it's standing there yeah. staring at us <laughs> And before we get back on the road, time for a quick pee break. This bridge is crazy. It's so small, it looks very frail. We are definitely getting out towards the desert now. Everything has just become flat and dry. It's a pretty basic caravan park. We're in site three. Jamie's gonna be showering in a portable bathroom tonight because they're renovating the girls' bathroom. I don't need to shower. <laughs> I do, I really do. I need a shower. Ew. Home sweet home. Oh. Oh, right. so it's just a caravan park, but like we're in a caravan park in the middle of a desert, so everything's very basic. Everything here was built many years ago. I think we should go for a wander and look at your bathrooms. We should go look at the laundry so we can get our towels in the wash. And we should go wander down to the river. The river looks so gross. It's not flowing, it's like stagnant brown water. Might be better on this side, who knows. And we're supposed to jump in that in the morning? Considering our van smells like wet towels, we're definitely going to need that laundry. If this is the one that they're gonna be renovating the women's into, it's very clean, very modern, nice sleek tiles, nice sleek shower blocks. How many snakes? It's good, zero snakes so far. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Jamie. <laughs> no. Yeah, right there. Doug, it's all mud. We can't even get in. We can get in. No, you'll slide all the way down. Cold plunge, anyone? This tree didn't mind. Dude, we're going to a desert tomorrow. Where else are we going to do a cold plunge? I think there's a better swap. I just have to Google it with no internet. Maybe we'll take the day off from cold plunge. <laughs> Now that we're all settled in here, it's time for a shower. <sighs> shower accomplished and I feel so fresh and clean. I hope that Doug's having a good shower because I didn't know how bad I needed that. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Whew, I feel good. I feel hungry. But first, we gotta do some laundry. And we got lots and lots of laundry. I don't know if you can tell, but I even did my skincare, so I'm looking like a glazed donut. Time for laundry. I feel so good after my shower. Me too. I feel so clean. Let's hope we don't see any snakes in the laundry. Did we bring money? No. <laughs> Hopefully this will be enough. <coughs> Smells like rivers. When we went in to buy this, she gave it to us for free. And she said she doesn't endorse it and it might not work. And it looks like one of those bags that just straight up lies to you. Lies and deceit. So let's see what condition this leaves our clothes in. Can't be worse than a river. 
Good, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm happy this is dry. <laughs> how long did you have yours in? Medium temperature and it didn't dry. Oh, so then okay. I put it down another tree where it's on high. Oh, okay. so Normally, I don't love staying at caravan parks, but I mean, after the last three nights of battling for drive tracks, it's nice. It feels nice. It yeah. does. And we're clean. Yeah. Good thing you guys can't smell us through the camera because it's been a rough few days, okay? <laughs> there is nothing better than getting to the end of a long admin day and just kicking back. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, oh, smelling good, feeling good. Squeaky clean, <sighs> fridge full of food, esky full of beers. Let's go to the desert. See you in the morning. So according to our neighbors at the caravan park, it got down to one degree last night and I woke up in the middle of the night and my face was like ice my nose was so cold and I just like threw myself under the sleeping bag we have like zero degree sleeping bags oh well they were put to the test last night but I'm so excited we're going to the desert today the weather is meant to be gorgeous well like still cold but gorgeous so I'm really excited I can't wait we get to eat breakfast and get on the road What? It's really scary trying to make breakfast while keeping a watch out for snakes. This is how a tradesman ties his leads. It will never get tangled again. It always gets tangled. So as you guys can see, we are no longer at the caravan park. <laughs> we do love going to the free campsites, but we also love caravan sites because, you know, they let us top up our water, do our laundry, have a shower, all those dirty things that you can't <laughs> do at a free nature site. Yeah, it always feels like a little bit of luxury when you're living in a van. Unless you own an earth roamer, then, then life always feels like luxury. <laughs> But, as you can see, we don't own an Earth Roamer. Let us know down in the comments, how would you go living on the road like this? Would it feel like a hassle having to do this every four-ish days? Or would seeing the different scenery on the road help keep it fresh for you? Do you enjoy living the simple life? I know for me personally, any amount of time that we spend living in the van just makes me feel so grateful for the times that we do have unlimited power and water. It's just those little things that can be so easily taken for granted that I think van life is just such a great reminder of. We are off on the rest of this little adventure. If you want to see how the rest of this drive goes, make sure you subscribe so you see the next episode. That was the skeleton of an animal. There was four emus in the middle of the highway. We just can't seem to escape these corrugated roads. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's everything falling oh my Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing so you can see exactly where we are right now. And we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!